I'm going to model this mechanism for moving a conveyor belt. The end effector here needs to engage vertically, move horizontally, and then disengage. It's driven by a four-bar linkage, and we need a coupler curve, which has a, a flat horizontal part. Uh, so here we'll design our four-bar linkage and have a look at its, the coupler curve of that point E. By modifying the parameters, we can uh, get a flat bit on our coupler curve. And by mo modeling up, moving other parameters around, we can make that flat bit horizontal. And so here is the four-bar linkage that um, is going to drive our mechanism. We now need to add some... Uh, other parts of linkage, some parallel uh, parallel links, in order to create a second point which follows the same curve, or rather the same curve uh, transposed. And so here is are the two points following following a translated version of the same curve, same curve. And um, we can now add the end effector and give it a little bit of geometry to suggest its function. And so if we clean up some of the clutter, uh, we can make that go and see the motion that we get for our drive for a conveyor belt. And there we go. Clear up some more of the clutter. And there's the motion. 